This is episode 50 of the podcast 3.0. Now, that means you can hear my new paper. I, well, no, no, that doesn't mean you can hear, I interrupted myself. It's, uh, I'm, it was, it was, it was, uh, as of this week, this is week number 50 of me having decided that I'm going to put the podcast on YouTube. Now, it's funny because as of right now, I, I don't know when you're listening to this, but as of right now, the views each week are like three, like not many people. I, in fact, I might be the one viewing them. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know. You know, I, you know, everyone's obsessed with YouTube and I've got a number of friends. Jesse, I, I can't, I don't get it. Why podcasts? It's like, have you ever heard of AM radio? It's like, you know, you listen to something and you just go. Well, anyhow, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm seriously contemplating, uh, getting a video set up. So there'd be like a video cam of the podcast. I, I don't know what it is. I've been over this with people. I don't get the thing. It's like, if I can't see someone, then I don't understand it. I just, I have to see it. So I might do that for YouTube, but I'm just, I'm just not set up for it. You've in life, valuable principle of life. You can either have the right equipment set up. Doesn't need lots of money. It just needs to be the right setup of equipment. You can get used equipment. You don't, it doesn't, you don't have to spend money, spend money, spend money. Get the right equipment or you have to do lots of editing. I mean, if, if you can get a camera and just take a good picture of something good, then you can just take the picture and send it. But if it's a bad picture and there's something in it and, and there's that over there, well, then you've got to edit, 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 edit. And then it's more of a painting, a digital painting or whatever than it is an actual picture. So... I'm just not set up to get the video and, uh, okay. I'll take George's suggestion. I, I, inside baseball of videos, usually the audio. Now, for those of you in Reed Rapids, that's the sound that you hear with the listening with your ears. The audio usually records in fact, like turn signals of a car, like every one of them is different and they never, never, ever, never, never sync up. In fact, I think it's part of a government regulation that makes it so that they're, they're just like ever so slightly out of sync so that you don't get two car signals confused with each other. But just how they never sync up, you know, the, the turn signal lights, audio and video, for whatever reason, can't record at the same time unless... It's recorded into a single video. So if I take one camera over there and then I record the audio over here, if I don't put that into a single video, but I later on go back and take the video and the audio and put it together, then after like five minutes, I'll be talking two or three seconds ahead of or behind what the video has me talking. So I, well, you've got to go through and readjust it, or you've got to get a special engine that will cause it to sync up, which is another problem. But, well, I mean, you know, sometimes you see these YouTube videos where some guy is talking and it's like, you know, it's like an hour long YouTube video. And then into the thing, like his mouth and his words don't line up. That's what's probably going on. It's, it's a cheap editing process. He recorded the audio here. He recorded the video there. He just laid them on top of each other. And he didn't go through and cut a little space or whatever to, to get the audio to sync up with the video. That, that's just, that's just a reality of things. I don't have, no, I've got a very lovely camera. It's just for whatever reason, my video camera doesn't have a video, a live video out to go into the computer, which is very irritating. What kind of a camera doesn't have a live video out? I don't make, that doesn't make sense. I just presumed that it did. So I was wrong. So I'm, I'm contemplating getting, getting more geared towards video stuff, but for now I am, as of episode 50, I'm keeping these podcasts going on YouTube because as I was discussing with my sister, the one thing I'm practicing at this point is regularity, you know, going through the video editing process 
cut this, clip that, drag this, make that, upload it, and just do it. Being regular is an important thing. And I, I don't know what, what the thing is, but I've just decided that I need to be regular about stuff. And I don't, I mean, I could easily get lots of criticism from all kinds of directions. Like, Jesse, you've got this, pot, you're episode 50, you get three views a week on YouTube. Well, that's YouTube. I also have other feeds. I have website hits, which are easily uh, about a hundred within the same, the first two days that the article goes up. I've got other people that subscribe to the audio podcast, which is what the podcast really is. I mean, this, this YouTube thing is like a kind of YouTube available version of an audio podcast that you can get on Stitcher and in iTunes and anywhere else you can get it directly. So I have subscribers in other places. YouTube is just another option. YouTube is by no means at all a gauge of what the actual audio intended podcast is doing. I mean, you know, Limbaugh, for example, and, and Ingram, I believe Hannity, uh, Glenn Beck, you know, they have their radio show, but then they've got like a subscriber thing, which is another story. It's another dealio. And that subscriber thing is by no means a gauge of the actual audience. It's just better access for, for people that, that really are interested and want to see what's going on. But, you know, the, the, the massive audience is about is all the AM stations that are all over the place. So my podcast audience is all about audio. Anyhow, this is technical stuff um, and, and mild geekery. But I'm, you know, I've, I've, I've thought about it with this podcast. What I do, I get on and rant about, you know, the current developments of whatever's going on in Jesse's life. And it's, it's kind of like a little bit of reality programming. And it may not be interesting to everybody, but I just want to keep it going. As, uh, as, as a lady from England that I met this week in Vietnam told me, uh, it's like a chimney. It, it's a chimney. It's, it's, it's a place I can go to, you know, blow off steam or smoke or whatever. It's an outlet. So I'm, the thing I'm excited about though, is if I can get on video, I might be able to have more fun with it, but we've been regular and the podcast is here and it's not going away. And as much as people might say, you only get two views a week at this, you only get three views a week at that. Well, there are multiple outlets. It's hard to look at one outlet having low, you know, views and another one is having high views and in, in increasing more and more. That's, that's not one outlet is not a gauge. There are many. So I don't know, you know, the low, the low views on YouTube might fool some people into thinking that the podcast isn't popular. Podcast is very popular in other places. So I, you know, I guess remember, you know, there's a strategy lesson in that. Whatever your business is, whatever you're, whatever you're trying to do, make sure you know what the real gauge is. And I was discussing with some friends here in Taiwan this week about YouTubers and how, how these professional YouTubers who make like two thousand U.S. dollars a week or a month or whatever, or half a million dollars a year, just doing stupid, boring YouTube videos. How do they do it? Well, the thing is, they don't start out that way. So you, you can't you can't expect something to be awesome and and show big results right away. You've got to be patient and regular with something and continue to improve yourself. And it's over time when you really love something that eventually you'll actually go somewhere, whatever it is in your life. That's my plan. And frankly, I hope that's yours too. There's something else that I want to tell you that it's really in my heart to share, but it's easiest if I just share that by getting to the point. The relationship between light and darkness relates to direction. Light travels in all angles and all directions from the source. Shadows, however, are not omnidirectional. They only travel away from a light source. A light that only travels across or down or over or up is not any true light. It may be redirected light, but the source of light shines in all directions. The only shapes like triangles or lines that occur naturally are shadows. Light does not discriminate. Shadow makers do. Light does not favor directions. Shadow makers do. Don't try to choose and pick so much. Just shine everywhere. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele.
jessesteel.com.